All right, we're getting back to this MCI here, this MCI-5. Uh, they're doing working on radius rod bushings in the back. It's very oblong and worn. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little more room to move those back, so. It's not, just, it's, is it catching on the stuff still? Maybe you I think so. I'm gonna keep going this way with it. Yeah. It'll come off that way. There you go. Bam. There you go. Easy. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Let's mark it. Okay. Let's see how oblong this way it is. These radius rod bushings are what keep the axle in line square with the bus. So when they get a lot of wear like this, the axle wants to kind of float around a little bit. Probably go back it's not very easy now. getting these torqued. <laughs> you, get, you don't yeah. this inner one you can barely get in there with it. So Vaughn's having a hard time pulling as much as he needs to, and his dad's holding it on there. It's a fight. Going somewhere. <laughs> it really squeezes those bushings before it clicks. Okay. Oh, the other one, I guess. All right. How much do we have peeking through? Uh, not much. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, the other one took a while, so. I'm impressed. You haven't made the fake click noise yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just be my elbow. <laughs> They're 150 to 165 foot pounds is what they are. I can't get another one in there. Oh, back to the other one now. Back to the other one. All right, we're on it. I think I might start making that noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's 16 of them that you're torquing back here on the rear end. <laughs> yeah. Starts to add up. Yeah, the extension just makes it unruly after a while. Yeah, we're gonna see if I can hold it. <laughs> see? Is it? <coughs> I'm gonna push down, I guess, just stay in here. Yep. I can't really, I'm not gonna pull. That's yeah, yeah, I don't care what it says. If you think it's too dangerous, go back to the other way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> interesting how you start to get a muscle memory for the torque amount. Yeah. <laughs> it's torqueometer. <laughs> it's got to be the nice one for God's sake. That's a good workout with your arm that far away from your body too. <laughs> I'm, trying not, I'm trying to be careful but only so careful. Yeah you have a little less room on this side because of the drive shaft loop takes up some space and then you don't have yep. it. I see that now. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like you're getting really close. God. <laughs> So I keep telling myself. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play a game. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Click. There you go, 
get angry. You gotta get mean. <laughs> I don't think it's working on this. It's the only way to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Which one were we on? This one? <laughs> yeah. <All> right. <laughs> oh, what? You know. <laughs> yeah, I turned it pretty good. Just feels the same to me at this point. <laughs> it looks like it. I'm dead tired of boss. <laughs> I understand. I'll, I'll push on it. You'll probably push on it. I was going to laugh so hard if it clicked on the first one. <laughs> no. It's getting close. Because that's the noise it was making before, right? Before wow, I'm pushing up again. I think I'm pushing against a fire blast. I hate you. <laughs> Honestly. Then go back to the other one. Wait, wait. Let me... uh, I'm going again just to make sure. On this. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's loose now. Yep. I don't think I have the stamina you have. <laughs> I think you're getting close. <laughs> Come on, the Callahan Auto shirt that you have on is going to give you some. <laughs> How does that, like, uh, eight, nine, nine or nine or times I've pushed on this thing? Oh. There you go. Now go back to the other one. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> going back. Yeah, it's me, Frankie Boy. <laughs> Callahan Auto Parts. Catfish. No catfish. Oh, oh shit, sir. Let me get. Let me get in there. Stabilize. Oh, oh Mr. Do It Yourself. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> you might want to hold that because you don't want it to slip off. I got it. Okay. Go back the other one. You're there. All Good right. job. <laughs> Do I want to check the other one again? No. No. Those those are both good. <laughs> So to put these little seal savers, the new surface for the seal, we put a hose clamp up against it and then we can tap it on. We don't have a, an installation tool that'll get this long to go down there. So I found it. Well, a little bit of dull, dull Dulled. ended that's not gonna, I'm just even tapping it on one side is fine. You can see it went in. Yeah, we're probably close. Lefty Lucy, ready, Ronnie. <laughs> new bushings to put on here. And we're just now installing the fans back on. We put all new seals. And then we put the little seal savers, the little rings that are on the speedy sleeve on there. Uh, change the oil in it. This one already has. It goes far enough. No, we're, it's, we're gonna need a lot of oil. This is a... His oil drain plug is seized in here, so we we're able to pull it out. It's in a little plate. We're gonna pull the plate out and then uh, heat it up and get the drain plug out.
I had to hit the thread part and not the top of it because that'll just break it off. bus stayed aired up and level overnight all we do is replace the leveling valves we didn't detect any leaks in the airbags there was no cracking on them they're older but there was no no cracks at all so no leaks they're in good shape um, it was just the leveling valves that would cause the left side to leak down very fast and then the right side to leak down overnight but she stayed aired up, aired up all night long last night so that's a very good sign we're gonna take it for the test drive this morning and uh, test out an adjustment I made on the Jake brakes and then we've done a tune-up on the engine uh, and then the new kingpin see how that how it handles and everything so he's got to do a sewer dump the first one to back out of the shop and use the new the new sewer pipe that we put in the corner over there so he'll be able to do a dump and it's going to be raining for this test drive i believe it's starting to rain right now Is that just your gray or is that both? That's black. Huh. Looks pretty clear over there.
Oh, that doesn't work on this hill ever. What, what did, well, I guess your RPMs. 2000. Yeah, that did. It's on. It just kicked on. Okay. All right, is so the momentary switch only? It is. Because I swear I just heard it. It is. Uh, it's momentary, so you have to hold it if you want it. <laughs> so maybe it was still open because it takes a few seconds for it to turn back off. Okay. Because it's done by oil pressure. You'll, you'll be able to test it on the road out here. I'm gonna have to open the second gate for you. Try it? Oh. No. You would feel it. And it's loud. Okay. We'll have a big hill coming up. Wipers work or no? Feel a little different hopefully for you with the radius rods changed <laughs> there used to be a little bang bang there yeah. Should feel like it's got plenty of power and everything too with the oh, tune yeah. up. Does it feel any peppier or no? It does actually. Yeah. It revs faster, that's for sure. That's, I mean, even. Yeah, your your fuel injector timing was set slightly retarded. Okay. Only a few of your exhaust valves were off, but all your injectors were. downshift. Not very good at getting it in the first. In the other <laughs> gear, yes. First, not so much. Okay. Kind of turn the gear yes, yeah, just go around the square. Whoa, what are you doing, person? <laughs> wow. Always expect the unexpected. <laughs> Holy cow. She has a red light. Yep. <laughs> She's going straight. <laughs> yep. She's not turning right on red. She's going straight on red. Holy cow. <laughs> I like how she waved you through. <laughs> yeah, uh, she felt embarrassed. Uh, First here for a minute. Okay. And then click your jakes. Nothing. No, not there. You hear it, they're loud. <laughs> huh. And the first time I do it, there's a ton of smoke. Yeah. 
thing got unplugged when we had the valve covers off. Uh, 60 seconds. All right, well, his Jake brakes were cutting off around 1700 RPM, so we made an adjustment to try to get down to about uh, 1200 or so, um, and I just had to go in and readjust that, and we're gonna go for another test drive and test the Jake's. And then just leave it in first when you pull out here. Yep. They sound good in the holler. <laughs> it's fun through a tunnel too, or a younger bridge. <laughs> Mandatory. <laughs> I wouldn't have hold them any longer than that. Yeah. Enough. Okay, well now we know that works. All right, so now they're cutting out around 1100 RPM. That's good. time doing that dashboard on there yeah that's that whole entire thing is fabricated there, i think there's a company a that actually makes a rough and then you have to kind of do the rest of it or if you have a rock in your tire i hear a tick 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 stopped on hills like that. <laughs> Me too. First time I drove this home, my driveway's <laughs> maybe as deep as yours, I don't know. Uh, I tried to take it in second gear not really knowing. <laughs> and I got stuck on a hill and I I ended up having to back it all the way down and try it again.
someday I'm going to get electric mirrors for this thing. <laughs> Position them good for one thing, but down there not good. over on this shoulder here safely if you can and I want to get out and look for a rock in the tire. Okay, no more tick 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 tick. Yeah, that's great. Only because we just repacked the wheel bearings was like, you know, it could yeah, have been something right. else. So. Right, right, I get it. Make sure. A loose wheel will make a ticking sound like that too. So. Okay. Crap between the rim and the, and the brake drum can make a noise. Okay, all the concerns are addressed and repaired, right? <laughs> I have to do, but that's okay. Your, your, one, your one mile warranty starts now. <laughs> so I want to close the second gate once you go. Well, I guess you guys are going to be leaving though, right? So I'll yes. leave it open for you and then we'll close it afterwards. And what's the best place to park? Well, if I do the same thing and then I'll just turn around and hook the Jeep up. Yeah. I have a couple people supposed to stop by this morning, so. Okay. I have a look out for them. Coming down, coming down the mountain. Lance is supposed to come by, and then the guy that was helping Lance sell his buses. You know? <laughs> I'd go ahead and get on it a little. <laughs> Although, we know you have the power to do it. You have the power. <laughs> and it, and it, pro it ain't smoking bad at all, right? Going up no, the show? not at all. Yeah. Lose a little traction on these not, wet I'm days. Not even flooring it. Yeah. If you're gonna turn around, maybe hug like half the road and half the park oh. site. That makes your turn a little easier. Yeah. I'm gonna do that right now. We did a lot of work on this one. Um, happy to report they made it safely back to Austin, Texas. Um, no issues at all with the bus. It ran perfect.